Tell them, tell them all about it. Somebody pooped on my couch. And my blanket. Oh. Yeah. Somebody what? Pooped on my couch and my blanket. So why'd you get arrested? Please get me out of jail tonight. Get me out. Just get me out. Now we're headed to the special detention unit. That's what it, that's what people are housed at break the rules and regulations of the institution. They were seen by a hearing board, and they were sentenced to do so many days in the special detention unit. Now, there's privileges that you lose while you're in there. The ability to write letters, watch TV, uh, listen to your radio. They have to understand that you can't break a rule and be rewarded. Get ready for count. Their cell is thoroughly searched. They are thoroughly searched. This is done before every shift. Two coming out. Step to the wall, face the wall, hands up. They're gonna be thoroughly pat searched by the officers. The cell is gonna be checked for contraband. They're allowed to use uh, toothbrushes and, and pens. Uh, they're not allowed to keep them, they're allowed to use them and then be returned. Sometimes uh, they end up in here. They're allowed to read their mail. They're allowed to receive their mail while they're in the special detention unit. They're not allowed to retain it. It goes into their personal property. Found a spoon up in the windows. They do get spoons to eat, but they're not allowed to keep them. Uh, anything, anything can be shaped into a weapon with enough ingenuity. We try to do is try to alleviate, giving them giving them the tools. Sometimes, sometimes they hide things in plain sight. Not allowed to write letters or anything in here, so he, he had somehow gotten a pen. It looks as if uh, it's a song or, or a letter to a loved one on a roll of toilet paper. It was probably done recently. They do come out for, for hearings. They're allowed out uh, an hour a day for rec. So at some point, they could have uh, attained a writing instrument. Who's on the bottom bunk? I don't know whose cell it is and what they're in here for, but we will find out. Thank you. Writing my uh, my wife, yes. I told him. Yeah. You use the whole roll of toilet paper, write her a love letter. Okay. I did on this, sorry. Upon a further search of his cell, found that he had hidden the pen between the bunk and the wall with a little message on it. He's saying that the use of this pen is 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 knowledge. He knows he's not supposed to have it in there, so he hid it. Unfortunately, it was found. Back in. We're not punishing anybody. Uh, they know if they break the rule, exactly what's going to happen. They're going to come down here. They're going to lose their privileges. And while they're in there, it's a time for reflection. They can think of what they can do to change that so they don't end up in this situation again. time that he was sent to an SDU is now up. He's going to be transferred from SDU cell to bullpen four, which is a reclassification bullpen. Please stand by. Can I propose to my wife right quick? Can you propose to your wife real yes. quick? You want to propose to your wife on camera? Yeah, on camera. I'm sure. I'm sure that uh, it's a unique. It's a unique uh, uh, request. But yeah. go right ahead. <laughs> Tanya, I love you, baby. You mean more to me than the air I breathe. There's no words that can possibly express the love that I feel for you, baby. Someday I'm hoping to marry you. Will you marry me? That was wonderful. It would be better with my girl. <laughs> that was wonderful. Is that what you wrote on? Is that what you wrote on the toilet paper? No. Or that was a precursor? Actually, no, actually I had an idea, man. You know what I mean? About um joining couples hand in oneness. Okay. I really don't know it all in totality, but I had it written down in there. You know what I mean? I really need that. <laughs> don't make I me see, laugh. I'm not making you laugh. You see, my grill is God. I see that. <laughs>
but see, as part of oneness, if, if I may embellish on your point, right, right. as part of oneness, we, we take it all in totality, using your words, right? right? right. With or without the grill, your proposal was beautiful. Was it, man? Thanks, uh, I, hope, I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope that it comes to fruition for you. I hope so, too, man. All right. In corrections, there's a human side to this. We're all humans. There's funny things that go on. They know and we know when it's the time to laugh and when it's the time to be serious. This is a human game. We're firm but fair. How old are you, James? 69, be 70, I'll be 14. 70. If I move like that when I'm 70, I'll be happy. He'll come in, he'll be a regular, and he'll just, he'll dance, you know, and he'll just keep everybody's spirits, you know, all calm and relaxed out there. Come on, Hesse, go ahead. No kidding. Bust the move. You do all the dances? No, I do the holly golly, the swim, the mashed potatoes. You do all that? The twist stuff, those dances too. How's that go? The twist? Yeah. He's smoking. You're on fire, man. You should try out for that show. I bet you could dance. You look at tomorrow. Time right there for me, man. Right, this time I hope we can change it to Mr. three patch. Time served, right? When'd you get out? 20 days. I got out June 1st. I was dressed up. You got out yesterday? June 13th, Sunday, 20 days on the nose, trespassing. Now, open in 10, I actually get time served on this one, right? Well, I can do more time like this to this 20 days. About 20 years. They got a fingerprint, you okay? He's a homeless person outside in the streets. He's probably invisible to all these people. He comes in here and, you know, there's, there's a connection with the deputies. And, you know, we, in a sense, Try to take care of this guy when he comes in. That's it, brother. Hey, this is, you know, James. This guy's been arrested well over 120 times. I'm pretty sure he spends more time with us than he does with anybody else. And it's just a sad case. You see this guy constantly, constantly get, getting arrested. He's got skin cancer, and it's a shame. And if he's out there in the streets, you know, no one, no one's gonna care for him. No one's gonna look after him. Sometimes, you know, these guys come in here looking for a place to make them feel safe. Come on, stand up. Frank, stand up. Crash, you know, drunk to stand up. <laughs> All right, what I want you to do is take a deep breath, put your mouth around the mouth, piece of blow hard for 10 seconds. Look at that. What result? Airplane. 0.0. Get me out of these cuffs and right, let me right. go. Because you are wrong. All right, ready? Come on. Give me another sample, Frank. Come on. Take a deep breath and blow. Keep it up. Keep it up. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, have a seat. See, second sample is a two six out. What are you trying to make me talk? <laughs> no, Frank, I think you're well enough drunk as it is. No, I don't, because it's like your 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 machine is not showing that. <laughs> Actually, Frank, you're right. The machine's not showing you're drunk. The machine's showing you're absolutely plastered tonight. Okay, you're three times the legal limit in the state of Florida. That's what? not drunk, that's plastered. Done. They don't like it? Huh? They don't like it? Not now. Not by themselves. Uh, I gotta put them in. Who's this guy? Inspector Clouseau or something? I don't know who you are. You're that guy that they got in uh, Law and Order. Yeah. I know you too. You know me too. Don't you got a special nickname or something like that? The Tank. There you go. That's right. What you in here for tonight? Drinking. Drinking? Drinking and driving? That's it. Bad combo. Yeah, I know. I didn't drive very far, though. All right, Frank the Tank, I'm ready to enter. 
to show them to me that way I don't think they have to do that. Yeah, I'll find that's all. All right. All right. I'm the best drunk dealer in the map. All right, Jeff, you have a good night. Take care, Boo. Hey. Good luck to you, Frank. Thanks for arresting me. You're welcome. <laughs> Seat out here in the blue chairs. We're gonna take a picture. We're gonna fingerprint you. That's when we'll give you your bond. It's gonna be seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Okay. My boy, cool. All right. Don't worry about it. Okay. Where am I going? Can I do that another time. I can come. Frank seems to be a happy drunk, although he's out there desperately trying to go ahead and um, reach family member or friend, come and bond him out. You know, this is his second DUI. You know, I'm pretty sure a happy drunk doesn't mean a happy person. Everybody, I'm quiet for everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Excuse me? Shut me up a long time ago. Step up. I dare you to step up, homie. I did nothing wrong. Step up. I dare you. I dare you, ass. Step the up. Now look away. Thank you. You two are me, ass. Look away. You take care. Peace out, homie. Shut the up. That's right. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mr. Carroll. I dare you. You just turn and face the front and mind your business, okay? Like I told the other individual right here, he has no idea what he's doing or why he's here. Just mind yourself. I apologize, Officer Carroll. To you, yes, sir. Move down to the middle. You sit there. You be quiet and mind your business. We got to get him through the blood draw first. He's got another blood draw. He's got to do it. Then. So what happened tonight with Joe? According to all the witnesses, he blew the red light going eastbound on, on Desert Inn as two vehicles were entering the intersection on a green light. And he hit the car and pretty much tore the back end of the car off. Um, the driver wasn't wearing a seatbelt in that car. She was completely ejected from the car and landed in the roadway. His speedometer was pegged at 120 miles an hour. Um, just stopped, locked in place, the mode of impact. Yeah. He did admit to drinking three beers in the golf course earlier. But I don't know that this is related specifically to beer. I think there's drugs on board. Come on. Time to get out. Yes, sir. Peace out. Keep walking. Keep yes, sir. walking. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're going to be doing a blood test because you sent somebody to the hospital who's possibly going to die. You probably will. You see my car? Tell me. It's Mr. Atkinson. Atkinson. A is an apple. T is in Tom. K is in, oh, Ken. K I N, like, you know what Ken is. Next of Ken. Love you. I will never talk to you again. Take Keep care. Keep your arm down. Yes, sir. Don't spit. I don't have any, sir. I didn't spit. Stop trying you. to spit. I didn't spit, sir. Stop trying to. I don't have any spit. No saliva. I apologize. I'll stop. Seven cars involved total. It was actually called in as auto pet because the lady was laying in the road. <sighs> and he's more worried about his car than. No, I'm worried about yeah. me, okay? I'm okay. Yeah, well. Thank you. Take your time. Yeah, he's got to roll. Work, Sergeant. This way. I don't think so. I, I'm not. Look, ouch. Keep I'm not. moving. Yes, sir. Which cell? The third one left? I don't know. Z3. Yep. Meal down. Yes, sir. How many ones? Don't move until the door shuts. Yes, sir. Did you get the keys? Yep, I got it. I got it. I don't even think he knows where he's at. I've been saying that to the other officers outside. He has no idea what he's doing, why he's doing it. He's challenging guys out there, then all of a sudden, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I apologize. Good deal. So blood draws are done. We're good yeah, to go. Blood draws are done. Did you drink today? Yes. How much did you have today? I had a uh, Long Island iced cheese. So there's more than one? Two. OK, that's more than one. OK. Yes. You are good to go? OK, so have a seat in the second well, how soon it goes? How long is it going to take? What are you here for? What am I? Sir? What do you think you're here for? Well, Being in the wrong place at the wrong time, and you need your quota to be met. So what happened tonight? Uh, basically, we got a, uh, a call saying that uh, he was sitting at the corner trap and yelling and screaming at the patrons of the gas station. Uh, when I get there, he was very belligerent and under the influence. He uh, proceeded to, to tell me that he's an ex-felon, which after I run him, he, he's a five-time ex-felon, which required him to register. He, Claims that he's a transient now. Got kicked out by his wife. He asked me for a place to stay tonight. I told him that since he's an ex felon and hasn't registered, he can come stay at Clark County. Hi, Mark. Hi, right, Mark. You understand why you're being arrested, right? Yes, sir. Okay. As an ex felon, you need to register. You understand that? That's appreciated. Okay. All right. Mark, I'm out of here. Okay. My money's over there, right? All your money's in there, your property's My in there. My hookers, too, right? No, we didn't bring those. 
You're cool. All right, man. Hey, he's good looking, ain't he? You can call me later. Stud. <laughs> You got a skateboard? This is his mode of transportation. What'd you do? And I was on the Mac for no fare. No fare? Well, it, I had fare. I had fare. Uh huh. But the machine wasn't working. So that's my bad. But you got money on you. Well, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I had my fare, but the machine wasn't working. So, you know, well, this is the first for me. Uh, you got no weapons on you? No, I got no needles? Um, All right, let's get those cuffs off. Yes, please. Oh. Ow. Yeah, tell him to bring a wheelchair and see if they'll keep his skateboard yeah, back just, just, Is that what we did last time? Yes. Yeah, oh, sir. What's his charges? Uh, theft services. Theft services. We were working downtown with our undercover operations team, and he's known to deal drugs down there. And we were asked to contact him. We contacted him. He had no fare. We gave the excuse that he couldn't buy it, but... It's typical for him. He's been arrested down here before. Quite a bit of problems for us. How long have you been using this? Since I was like six. And you know that there are resources out there where you can get wheelchairs? Well, yeah, uh, yeah they, they slow me down, honestly. Okay. Well, you know this is a safety hazard. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm sitting here, yeah. Okay. Hey, I'll take it. All right. Thank you. We'll put a hold on it, okay? Thank you. How'd you lose your limbs? I was born like this. You were born that yeah. way. I've like seen a skateboard come through here. That was mine. I've never seen a skateboard come through here. Yeah, that's mine. Why you use a skateboard? Uh, I mean, I understand that oh, you no, can get on honestly, uh, went out of a chair. I don't know. My uncle gave me one when I was really, really, real young, and uh, uh, I don't know. I just ever since then, I fell over in one of these and cracked my head open in my kitchen, doing wheelies. So, so. just not digging the chair. Yeah, just, just, Thank you very much. It, it, it slows me down. The skateboard's a lot faster. It's a lot faster than you. A lot faster. They say he's quick. And I don't see many skateboards come through here. Actually, I've never seen I'm in Thrasher Magazine. Yeah, I skate pretty good. Really? So you compete? Uh, I've, I've been sponsored a couple times. How old are you? Me, I'm 23. Almost 23. 23, you, uh, you live on the street or you got a place where you lay your head? I'm just staying with my family right now. Okay. I got two kids. Really? Yeah, I got two daughters. So everything is functional below the waist as well? Yeah. Nicely done. So why are you here today? What's going on? Me, uh, theft of services, I guess. Uh, I was went to get, get on the, well, I, I got on the Rose Quarter, was riding the Max, got off at Lloyd Center to pay, because it's passing a you know, free rail zone. Right. The Max machine was out of order, so it wouldn't let me put my money. So we were going to the next stop, and I was going to get off there, but these guys came on when I was, yeah. Uh, so, said it's my fault. This is your first time here? Second. What was your, where's the first time we were here for? The first time we were here was for delivery. You have a habit? No, not anymore. Uh, I did. But you did. What was your drug of choice? Uh, meth. Meth? Yeah. But that's done and over with now? Yeah. Good. Thanks for your time, partner. You know, that is something I have never seen before come to jail. I've been to 17 years. I've never seen that. Uh, you'll probably be another 20 before I see it again. <laughs> well, if he can stay out of trouble, I mean, he's already in our system. So hopefully uh, he'll get out of jail here in a few hours and he won't be coming back. Tell them all about it. Somebody pooped on my couch and my blanket. This walker? Yeah. Somebody what? Pooped on my couch and my blanket. So why'd you get arrested? Because I hit them because I was tired of their oh. Literally. Yeah. You got anything sharp on you, do you? No, no, they've already checked me for everything. Did you hit them with your cane? What'd you hit them with? I believe I hit them with my cane, yes. Oh, yeah? Who are these people? Um. They live with you? In grits, no. Homeless people who we're just looking for a place to sleep. And you let them into your house? I made the, I made the mistake that we've all made. Being too nice. Yeah. So who called the police, did they? They did, yes. I believe one of them had me... Uh, uh, restrained? Restrained. Why the other one called the police? I don't know. I just told these guys everything. I told them the truth, because... You know, well, I, I'm here and, and they're walking free. So. Did they rouse them out of your house at least? Um, yes, they did, right, which, okay. you know, it was almost worth it. I don't know why we just couldn't have said, I'm sorry to each other. And they you should have done that before you walked well, over. They could have left and I could have been fine. Well, they weren't going to leave. So when you got to the scene, what did you guys see? We saw poop, we saw blood, and we saw three drunks. So what is he charged with today? Just uh, harassment and assault for. They assaulted me, too. Pooped on my couch and assaulted me. I need a, a bus ticket to get out of here when I get out of here. I need to go home. I need to go to sleep. 
Okay, here's a list of your stuff. You get it when you get it. I'm on a lot of medication. Do you understand that? Okay, you'll be able to tell the nurse about the medication. Look at my head. Look, look what happened to me. But I'm on a lot of medication and... Shh, shh, stop talking. People, people. I'm not sure. If he's prone to hit people with that, I'm not really apt to want to give it to him, to be quite honest. Well, as long as you don't I'm not going to hit anybody with it. I need the cane. Have a shattered pillow. Ask him if he can get around without the cane or if he needs a wheelchair. I don't want to give him the cane. Right. Well, how about we get you a wheelchair instead? That way you can't pick that up and hit anybody. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just Thank pissed you. off at the world. I don't know if you guys understand, but... Sarge didn't want him to take the cane inside the jail because he's already assaulted somebody with it. So we got a wheelchair instead. If he tries to pick that up and hit somebody with it, he might have a little bit of a problem with it. <laughs> hey, Curtis, why did someone poop on your couch? Because they're alcoholics. I, I, I got pissed off. What did you do? What did you do, though? How did you vent that pissed off? I, I guess I hit him in the head, and then I guess I hit him with my cane. It was think, alcohol. Think maybe alcohol in your house don't I mix. believe, yes. Yes, I okay. do. Okay. And I'm... Show a little compassion for people who get too drunk and poop on your couch. No. no. Don't come to my house, and that'll be easier. Okay, why don't you head back there and have I'm a seat. Well, roll your seat back Which there with the other Which way do house. I go? Straight ahead. I thought my ex-wife was bad at me before, but now I'm going to be really in trouble. That's a new one. You can't make that stuff up. Nobody's going to believe this. This is just one of those days. Uh, all right, bro. OK, Curtis, here's your property. OK. Here's your release agreement. OK. You the one that but they poop on your couch or something? Here I am trying to be a nice guy. Sure. Letting somebody who's on the streets come in sure. for a night and, you know, watch some TV because I got television and and that started the whole fiasco. Eats my food, dirties my dishes, fills up the sink full of dishes. Now I have no food, I have dirty dishes, and I have poop on things that now I have to wash. So yeah, it's been, it's been fun, but at least they're gone. You guys have a good night. Well, hopefully when you get to court, you can get it all worked out, OK? I'm sure this shouldn't be an issue. Forever. Woo woo, what's up, chicken booty? Woo woo, oh yeah. Well, that's not good, Larry. You can't just be grumpy all the time. I know, you can't just be grumpy all the time. You have to love uh, life sometimes. Lighten up, lighten up, lighten up. You know, how you these first, damn handcuffs right? hurt so bad. Can you only smile? Come on, officer, vice, please. And you're the only one that can loosen up. What did you bring Petrolina in for tonight? Uh, she was apprehended after she was caught shoplifting with uh, her little sister and her cousins, who she was using as lookouts. She gave a false date of birth. She presented herself as a minor. She was 19, so I confronted her about the issue, and she took off out of, outside of the, the doors. I apprehended her after that, so there was a shoplifting charge, false information to a police officer, contributing to the delinquency of the minor for her cousins, and then resisting arrest for trying to escape custody. Shake a booty. Hey. I need you to settle down, OK? E drugs, guns, knives, needles. No, ma'am, I gave him my knife. OK. Oh, yeah. Strip you search. been drinking today? Oh, yeah, never. No. Uh, no, this is just me. I make every situation the best. Okay, you need well, at least you don't make excuses no. for yourself. Woo, woo, shake your booty. Woo. OK, I need you to settle Sorry. down. Listen Sorry. to me. Look. Sorry. Settle down. Yes, ma'am. We're going to do a professional search. Go for it. Okay, do you have anything hiding up the crotch or widen your steps? No, widen your steps. Nothing hiding up the crotch. Never heard that one before. Well, we've been to jail before. Yeah. Huh. Did you steal this stuff? No, sir. No. I bought that stuff. All right. The stuff I stole stayed at the store. Ow! Oh, oh, yeah, that feels so good to be free. Okay, keep facing the map. Five. Can't take that stuff. How much alcohol did you drink today? None. This is just None. how you always Rock. act? This is me. Grab your stuff. About time. And let's relax, okay? Relax. Okay, right in here. The problem that we've got with uh, Petrolina right now is that she's not able to calm down enough to be able to be walked through the booking process in a manner that wouldn't cause a disturbance with other prisoners. We've got to see her demonstrate that behavior before we're going to let her out.
We're getting ready to do uh, nurse checks on Petrolina, see if she's sobered up a little bit and if she's if her behavior's changed enough to where we could actually bring her out. But it appears that she's still kind of dancing and still acting pretty. Uh, Back against the I don't want to die. You guys will get me the hell out of here. Stop dancing around. Man, that's just me. God, I'm sorry if you hate your job, but I just love my life. I love my life. I'm just a crazy ass person, all right? You're never going to meet another me, all right? I should be so happy that I'm here. Heck yeah, gorgeous, happy as hell. Life's just too crazy. Shake your booty. Hey, you really need to stand still so the nurses can get See, look, good that's violence. the guy that's so mean to me, man. He just wants me to be sad. Oh, serious. <laughs> Are you always this way? I'm this always way? this way. I'm not even drunk. Give me a breathalyzer. That's what I want right now. A breathalyzer and a drug test. So I can tell you guys that I'm nowhere close to intoxicated. Finish I got two tonight. kids. Can you finish it up? They keep me busy enough. What were you doing tonight? Shoplifting. That was not a good idea. Oh, I know that now. Yeah, you're too happy. You can't creep and... I've only been in, I in Utah for three days. Not All no right. drugs, not no alcohol. Okay. Oh, please, just let me out. Step back in there. I'll be calm. Okay. No, I'm some okay. Hey, Petrolina, the thing is, is you've got to show us you can be calm. You're acting still <gasps> Just calm down. I can calm down. When you guys put me in a room like this, you know what, what makes me do? It's crazy, 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 crazy. The problem just like is, that. Is, is, as long as you act like that, you're going to be in this room. <laughs> Okay. If you keep back like this, you're gonna keep sitting in here. Fine. I'm just myself to sleep. Will that get me out of here? Okay. I'm in here by myself. Okay. Let, let me explain this to you. You demonstrate to us that you can act that way, then I have no problem pulling you out, okay? Her medical results, her vitals were a little bit too high, still associated with the alcohol that's wearing out of her system. As she sobers up, it's her choice, really, when she comes out. As long as she can demonstrate a level of cooperation, we'll get her out, we'll get her booked through, and we won't have any more problems with her. A lot of people come in here when they get arrested and they seem to have an attitude, they get agitated, and basically what that does is that hinders their process. And if they knew that that was gonna be the case, they would not do that because no one wants to be here longer than they have to. Let's go, walk. Patient, patient guy, that's love. What's his, what's his deal out there? He was stopped at one of the nightclubs on the strip. Uh, he was asked to leave by the staff there, refused to uh, the song, the song right there. I uh, was slightly combative with the officers. What are your charges going to be in? It's just going to be a misdemeanor, uh, citizen's arrest for trespass. Okay. I surrender to every I don't know. He's very good. And every word you answer. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. We're taking this guy to the side cell right now because he won't stop singing out in the uh, pre arrest area. So we got to get him removed from the area and keep control out there. He just won't follow instructions. So move him to the side cell and uh, hopefully he'll calm down and be able to go through the process later. Just leave him in cuffs. Now, homie, we gonna need our nigga cockpit. Cause when I fight, I be right behind the cockpit. I don't think he broke. He, he wouldn't stop. He went out to the nurse's office. I don't think he answered one question. No. Yeah. So. What would they pull you over for? I'm racing, that's it. You're racing, that's it? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. It's about 42 grams of methamphetamine. Well, oh, how it's nice. It's all meth. It's, it's all meth, 42 huh? 42 grams of meth or something like that. Oh, wow. And he was running because he was drunk. That's what he said. I thought you were just drinking. A what? What you have in your, what does he have in that little yellow envelope of yours? It's not alcohol. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? There you go. I come down here and sit in the last chair of that row. 
Wait for medical to call you. Him and his buddy were driving. Just looking kind of weird, so I ran the plate. The RO comes back to some priority five sex offender cat, so got them out of the car. And they're standing in front of the car, both of them, and I'm right behind him. Boom, takes off that way. Mm -hmm. I take off after him. His buddy ghosts me somewhere. I don't know where he went. Right. He looks like he got the worst of it, even though your pants are torn. <laughs> That was in the car. All packaged nice and neat, I see. All packaged nice and neat. So he's got quite a substantial amount here. This is a lot of men. Is this something he could get trafficking for? Oh, he's getting charged with trafficking. OK. He was in a vehicle, and it's over four grams. Right. Thank you. It looks like something is going on in the cell. I don't know what's happening. Let me go. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you. It's our singer. Oh, she's dried up. Heavens fall out of the sky. Sky turn red. Well, we like yeah, Bella, get it open all powerful. Me. Go out there, kill them all. Werewolves, everything. They can't kill me. They think they got me. All right, sit up here. All the way down. Seems to have become completely resistant. When I open the door, if you want to step up, look at my face. He's in my so I took him to the ground. So how does that work? He just simply has gone from being the life of the party to somebody who is completely combative and non-responsive to our, our direction. So he ends up being ultimately in the chair. And uh, you know, hopefully in a couple hours, we can see if his tone changes, if he ends up being a little bit more responsive to our questions and see what's going on with him. During my career as a corrections officer, I see some pretty strange things. I've seen prisoners bite their fingers off. I've seen some pretty outlandish fights that have sent prisoners to the hospital. You never know what your day is going to be like in this career until you get to work. Do you use drugs? I do not need a drug. Me, you drugs. Do I look like I'm on drugs? I'm a alcoholic. And that's what happened to me. I got borrowed. I'm not for sure. Shut up. Sounds like one of our female prisoners is getting rowdy with some of the other prisoners on the bench. We'll go see what's going on. I don't want to go. Well, let's get done here first. I'm going to, OK. OK, well, hold on until we get done. This is what happens when okay, you're a Okay, pay attention girl. to what I'm saying, OK, Danielle? Yeah. Settle down, Danielle. We'll okay. get you to a restroom. Yep, I have to pee. Have you been drinking in the last 24 hours, Danielle? Yes, I have. OK, what have you drunk? Like a pint of whiskey. Big okay. deal. What are you here for, Danielle? Public in talks. Okay. Drinking on my own front lawn. Okay, why don't you take off the rest of your rings and your watch? This one's gonna be tricky. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. Mmm. It's almost there. Oh. Here it is. Okay, All and right. then you have a couple piercings in here. Yep, face. I have an eyebrow. Yep, get them. Uh, do it. The boogers hanging on it. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I can't. Okay. Well, I have gloves, so. You want the sprayer? Yeah, I think so. Here you go. One more. How? Oh. They gone? You know what? Let's just leave it. You know what? I've got it, though. You got it? Yeah. Oh, okay. My fingernails did the trick better oh, than the spreaders. Okay. There we go. All right. Just giving it a good. Take that one out. I'd rather you do it. Ugh. You're not the first one that's had to do this. That's what you get for having all those piercings, huh? No, that's what you get for being drunk in public. Be humiliated. Okay, now, turn around. Put your back on the mat. Okay, take your pinkies, put them in your mouth, hook them out. Daniel, pinkies. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna go up, <laughs> down, down. <laughs> Okay. okay, Danielle, open your mouth. Lift up your tongue. Okay. All right. Okay. Come Let's with me. Go. All right, Danielle, go in there and take a nap, all right? All right, good night. See you in a few hours. All right. We're going to leave Danielle in the P cell for uh, a few hours at least. She is 
very intoxicated. She calmed down a lot from when she was out on the bench. I think she'll be all right in a few hours. So we're going to check on Danielle, see if she's sobered up here. Danielle. Danielle. Come here. We got to have the nurses check you real quick. OK? Darn, better after every hour. Daniel, are you just told so. drinking or using drugs tonight? Drinking. OK, do you drink all the time or just on occasion? Oh, all the time. Do you have problems when you don't drink? Yeah. What happens? <laughs> OK, calm down. Can okay. you drink it first? Yeah. Um, what here? They're blue. Blue. Uh, can I pick? No. no. Blue is what you oh. Okay, drink as much as you can right Blue's now. Blue's a good stuff. All right, come on, hurry, Danielle. You got to drink it right now. Oh, yeah. I have to drink it in front of you? I yeah. can't take yeah. it in and sit down yeah. and oh. relax? No, oh. it's smearing off, so let's go. Here we go. All right, Danielle. How was awesome. that? All right, go ahead and go to sleep. Uh. Danielle, go in there. She's still way too drunk to come out. I'm sure a couple hours of rest, a few more Gatorades, she'll be like a totally different person. We'll be able to get her through the process, hopefully get her released. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't want to.